All right. Hi everyone. Um, I just wanted to give an update on some of the code. Uh, so I'll start by showing you guys how I have been uh, writing most of this this stuff. So if you don't know already, um, what I do is I have written some software-based post-processing scripts in Python based off of the uh, PYO P PYO package, uh, free online. And I've made some functions that do a variety of things like move around uh, in circles and stuff or randomly uh, or, or in a particular path like greater circle, short distance path. Uh, anyways, uh, you know, some cupping stuff. Uh, I've, these are all the things that I've been using in the videos that I've been making. And in order to modify uh, some audio, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking these methods and applying them over here uh, to particular timestamps. So you'll see that uh, I've been manually just putting in timestamps uh, while having like the audio open in Audacity, checking uh, when things happen and just manually inputting when that stuff uh, is supposed to occur, how long it is, what coordinates it's supposed to move to, all that stuff. And as you can imagine, that takes forever. And it's, it, it's definitely not scalable. Like, it, it's horrible for people to use and it's it's annoying to have to use and do that way but that's just what I've been doing um, and it takes forever so I've been developing a way to automate and make this a lot faster so here's a demo I've made and I, I need to set this to true so that it actually records it um, uh, okay, let's just let's. Uh, I need to record this for. Uh, so I can sync it up in the video later. I I don't know how to get my stereo mix working on Pro Tools, but. Anyways, uh, transparent uh, demo one. Okay. So. Let's run this and see what happens. And it opened it up on this window. Okay, so what you'll see is a little window with this kind of radar dish looking thing. Um, and this other thing that I haven't quite gotten working yet, but you can see that it, uh, if I move this dot, it moves the dot down there. What this is, is essentially a polar plot um, with uh, azimuth going in the angular direction and elevation in the radial direction. Um, this is basically a map of 3D space around you going from here being directly on top of you, here being at zero degrees elevation, so this is like on level around you, um, and this is a little bit beneath you uh, and then, you know, we have this north direction is in front of you, this is to the left, this is behind you, this is to the right of you, and so on. Um, so I'm going to play the demo, and we'll just see what it sounds like and how easy it can be to just on-the-fly edit this sort of thing. So here we go, press space to record. Transparent, 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 transparent. Okay, 
let's let's stop that for now. So hopefully you can see how uh, any any person could just uh, you know do the recording of their audio on a mono microphone like I'm doing right now. It could be any any mono microphone. Uh, save it on their computer. Uh, I'll I'll make some application where you can like type in a file location or whatever. Um, and then use this little window thingy to map out um, how you want the sound to move, thus creating a binaural effect uh, simply by just clicking and dragging a little dot around, which uh, is uh, is promising. I think this will uh, be fairly accessible for most people whenever it's done. I'll try to package this into a nice executable file uh, that any non-techie person um, you know you don't have to worry about any code or anything like that just need a file location uh, you need to be able to use a mouse and you need to be able to hit uh, your spacebar and then you can record yourself moving the the audio around um, finish and and then you have binaural audio um, there's there's some nuance to how you want to um, how you want to process the data, like how you want to, um, oh God, what's the, what, what's the phrase? Uh, um, like clean up your audio before and after because of the nature of HRTFs, um, you end up wanting your, uh, your gain to be a little bit underneath. So you want to amplify to like, maybe keep it at like minus 10, minus five dB until after you've done the HRTF because it can actually amplify and you don't want it to, to clip on you. Um, but because of how, like you can't do any compression, like you can't use a compressor or a limiter. I, I, I'll make a video on this at some point um, to help people out, but uh, I wanted to keep this demo short and I, I failed to do that. So that's all I wanted to show you for now. Some progress on the artificial binaural effect and HRTFs.